All right, so we are doing um, trigger point therapy on the PEC minor. So as you remember, you can distinguish between PEC minor and PEC major by first activating PEC major hand here and press against your hip. And I feel the PEC major pop, relax. With your other hand, take your breast tissue off to the middle. And now depress your scapula, so bring it toward, yep, toward your feet, perfect. And relax. So, because we can't access all of the pec minor, really just the lateral portions, but remember, it's going from coracoid process down to third, fourth, third, fourth, and fifth ribs. So there's a few different strands, uh, and moving the arm around may help you access some of those because it gets the pec major out of the way. So am I in her armpit? No, I'm really going for the side of the rib cage. So once more, bring your shoulder or bring your scapula toward your hips and relax. So I feel the lateral um, portion of the pec minor, and I'm going to follow it from proximal to distal as much as I can. Tender? Okay. So if you find tenderness, stop and treat. Okay. And I want to make sure that I'm still on pec minor, so I'm going to have her activate it once more and relax. So I think I'm right at the edge of it. So once you treat as much as you can of the bellies, you can treat coracoid process, but remember there's so much that attaches there. But we'll do cross fiber friction. A little tender here. So whoever, you're her partner, <laughs> um, treat there maybe. And then if you have a male client, you could treat third, fourth, and rib, fifth rib attachments too. Okay? And the stretch for pec minor is the same as for pec major upper uh, angle. So remember pec major, we did, hmm, what is that, like 40, 60, 120 or something. So pec minor stretch is just this upper one, bringing the points on the ribs away from here. Okay, do you feel stretched? I do. So that would be just a passive stretch, not a PIMR. 